This week is footwear week. Now I know you're complaining. I've got flat feet. I've got bunions. I have plantar fasciitis, knee pain, hip pain. What kind of shoes do I wear? What do I do? Well, here's the thing. Here's what you don't. If you get a shoe on that looks like this with 19 inches of padding on it, your brain just shuts off to the shoe. So even if you do switch to something comfortable like a barefoot shoe and you don't know how to use your foot, no bueno. You've got to first learn how to use your foot and then transition into footwear that is accommodating, that will help you improve your foot strength, which will lead to you living a pain-free life and learning how to use your foot and squat better and move better and be happier. Guys, these, I think they're useless. I can't think of a use, right? They're training you how to heel strike, which is no bueno, okay? Just because it's comfortable, doesn't mean it's good for you. These are the most comfortable shoes ever. They're also deteriorating your foot. Okay, so if, if a shoe, if you could see through the bottom of it, it's probably a sign it's not good. So the higher, <laughs> the higher the cushion, the higher it is, this is about an inch and a half, the more problems that you're going to exaggerate. It's like being up on stilts, okay? When you're up on stilts, you have more likelihood of falling over. The higher this, if your foot collapses, it's gonna collapse twice as much wearing something like this. Here's a good rule of thumb. If the sole of your shoe would stop a 44 Magnum bullet, it's probably not good for your foot health. What happens when you stand up in them? <laughs> oh, what's it bouncy? Check these out. Once you take out this absolute uh, dinosaur of a piece of foam, you're left with a pretty much a barefoot shoe. Now, this is more of an advanced shoe because whenever you're barefoot, you're relying on your foot. This thing absorbs, there's no shock absorption anymore. So it's advanced. You must learn how to use your foot before you transition to something like this. Transition to something like this without learning how to use your foot will not teach you how to use your foot. Got that? We actually love these shoes. These are ultra barefoot shoes. Here's the thing, it's an advanced shoe. You've gotta learn how to grip the ground with your foot to use these properly. But when you do, you're really connected to the ground and you're able to strengthen your feet. Love these. These are a Reebok CrossFit shoe. Now check it out, you got a pretty flexible forefront. It gets a little stiff in the back. You've got a slight, the reason that stiffness is it gives you a little bit of a heel lift in there. It's gonna help you squat a little bit easier, but you lose some of that true form of the foot. So it's sacrifice. Yes it is. Big toe box. It's good. It's a big box. That's a nice box. Check it out, the toes are meant to be wide like this so the foot doesn't fall over like a kickstand. They're all crunched up like a little V, sort of tilting sideways. Unstable knee, unstable hip, unstable foot, plantar fasciitis, bunions, medial collateral ulnar, prolateral prolapses, everything. Look, narrow, more narrow toe box, a little wider. The wider the toe box is gonna allow you to use your foot and grip it a little bit more, the narrow one crunches your foot in. Bigger box is better. Hello, grande fits the foot. If not, it crunches the toes in, and that's how they look forever, and your knee falls in. And then you walk funny and look funny, and hurt yourself. The end. Guys, remember, for every little bit more of heel lift that you add onto your shoe, the more it's gonna throw you in a forward tilt. Make this stick out and make you round. It's okay to wear them once in a while, but you definitely wanna have some a little more barefoot that you can work and train your foot so it doesn't deteriorate. These are cool, I have a similar pair of these myself. What this does is, the higher the lift, women, the higher the lift in the back, the more it throws you in the anterior tilt. Which may make that butt look a little bit better in the short term, but it really turns off the glute muscle. So you have to work twice as hard to get back the glute that you kind of pretended to have with the shoes. <laughs> One of the cool things about Vans is they're zero drop, meaning it's flat. Because whenever your foot, when it, most shoes, they give you a heel lift, which disrupts the natural harmony of the foot. But the zero drop shoe allows you to grip and allows you to find that neutral pelvic position a little bit better, brace your core. Today, you're gonna learn three extremely important tests to test your foot strength, mobility, and flexibility. Number one, you should be able to jump on the knuckles of your feet, just like that. Can you do that? If so, bypass the next two tests. Joking, don't do that one, it's for professionals only. The two most important tests are this. Number one, can you put those toes on the ground and lay them in a way where all of your toes are splayed apart? 
like this. If so, you've got great flexibility and mobility in the toes. Now, number two is keeping the big toe on the ground. Can you use the muscles at the bottom of your foot to squeeze, to give yourself arch, and then also to turn them in to take away arch. This is good arch mobility and strength in the bottom muscles of the foot. If you cannot do either of these the way he looks, you got problems, son. You've got work to do, and you're gonna start learning tomorrow how to improve. Today, you are going to learn how to strengthen the arch of your foot. Pay attention, this is so important. Number one, for training, get a band, have it connected to something, and make sure your big toe is driving it into the ground. Understand? Next, what you're going to do to strengthen the foot, you must keep that weight under the toe, push your knee, torque your knee outward. And what that does is it lifts the inside of the foot. Notice, foot improving the arch isn't just from the foot. It's from the knee, it's from the hip, it's from the core. It all has to work together, period. And you must do this all day. When you're standing at work, when you're sitting in your car, this shit doesn't happen overnight. It takes freaking work. Work at this and get some barefoot shoes to help assist your learning process. That's a secret. If your feet are literally in a coma and the toes don't work, you're gonna have to manually spread them. Here's what that means. You can use a block, you could use the floor. If your toes look like this, get down there and spread them apart, okay? Just like that. Now, keep those toes right there. Now, whether you're at the office or at the gym or in the car, whatever you're doing, you keep those things glued wide open like that. And now, hold that tight using the skills you learned yesterday, how to create torque, which gives you arch. Now you can come up in the air. Look, your toes are spread. You're using toe strength. You're torquing the knee. You're developing arch to develop. This is gonna take you a year. You've worn lousy shoes for probably the last 15 years that have weakened your foot and you've been disconnected with it. It's gonna take you a long time to do this, but you got no other choice, man. If you do have foot problems, plantar fasciitis, bunions, spurs, Achilles tendonitis, you must take action and take accountability for your own foot. More than likely, you've been wearing shoe wear that has been too narrow of a toe box, too big of a heel lift, too hard of an arch, all the things for so long your foot is literally in a coma right now. The process, yes, it's amazing to switch to. We love every pair of shoes that we own are Vivo Barefoots. Vivo Barefoot, but you can't just switch to those. You have to wake your foot out of a coma. You literally have to wake it up. So you gotta go barefoot or in your socks and use your feet all day long. I'm talking the step, the second you get out of bed, you're aware of your foot striking the ground. And then you could slowly transition out of your big old clod hopper into a more flat style barefoot shoe that allows you to use your foot as designed from the factory.